Yes, for whatever reason, I decided to start the episode off with that in the intro for Toys for Bob, a company that's more well known for the remake of uh, Spiral the Reignited trilogy and also um, Crash 4, It's About Time. And we're we'll playing one of their earlier games, which is, of course, Madagascar. Because why not? Also, hello, it's your boy from 1996. Welcome back to the episode of Low Standards. Happy America Day! Because um, it's the 4th of July as this episode is uploaded and stuff. We're going to be playing through Madagascar, though I already have a save file on a different SD card. It felt like just starting from scratch because it's not super heavy on save file, uh, save data. Use either this or SpongeBob, uh, SpongeBob Battle for uh, a creature for the Crusty Crab. But I forgot my disc doesn't really work that well on my GameCube anymore, so I had to go ahead and resort to playing the Weave. I want to play that game again, I think. If not, our disc is just broken in general. I just kind of just forgot to throw it away. If not, they already had a secondary copy, and I threw away the good working co uh, copy and, bro and threw away the bad working copy. Though so, uh, there's actually an animated cutscene that leads up to there, it's hey, mostly cool. just like well, reusing well, footage from the game. I collect enough of them, I can pick up new ability. Oh, yeah, that's also Phil Lamar voicing uh, Marty here. I love this treadmill! Nice. So this, this game, it's basically a loosely uh, interpretation of the entirety of Madagascar 1. Not a kick in those gates! Not a kick in those gates! Button to bust those bad boys open! Ooh, balloon. If I pop another of these balloons, I top bunny! <laughs> Alright, let's get to it. I was unaware if I've ever done this game prior on the channel. Hey, hey I Alex! Really tell just the line I wanted to see. Come on, Marty. I remembered it's your birthday, okay? Oh, you goody. don't have to butter me up. I was being sincere, man. It's good to see you. Okay, you caught me. I got you something, but what with all my rehearsing, I haven't had time to wrap it yet. Mm. Four shows a day. Gotta get into character both times. That'll take its toll, sure. Yeah, four a day. And with all due respect for what you do and your whole treadmill shtick, it's not the easiest thing in the world remaking myself from scratch after each perf right. performance. But seriously, man, you've hit the big one all. Only comes once. So, you want me to run you through your routine? Actually, a living audience does kind of help me focus my chi. Focus Find your chi. Three power cards. The music in this game is interesting to say the least. Seeing your smiling faces. It is one of those like commercial games I ever always play all the time whenever I had the chance, whenever I go to GameStop back in the day when GameCube were one of the main hitters for uh for uh advertising games with its demo so nice demo to interact with the fans. Yeah, it's just a little loud in here when I was moving in twenty. I think it's either the PS2 version of the, or, or the GameCube version you should play this uh, game in particular on demo game discs. It's your standard platformer game in specifics. Oh my god, come on Alex. Why do you do your stupid uh, grabbing, um, like grabbing with a, yeah, grabbing animation for ledge jumping? You have to do that to people because why not? This game's pretty simple, do all the platforming stuff, and of course, beat it eventually. There's secrets to be found, which gives you monkey coins where you can use the souvenir shop, and then thus uh, use it for upgrades or costume bits. Like costume bits, I mean, uh, just uh, cosmetics. A lot of mini games as well. <laughs> I, I love, like, Alex's uh, animation. At the top of your jump, just press that freaky jump button again to summon up to higher places. Now, let's see you jump through the rainbow ring. Rainbow rings! Rainbow rings. Yeah, I mean, I'll have the ability to double jump. You can play basically every single character in this game from the movie. You people are in for a real show today! Like every main character in specifics. Got the ring bonus. Well. It's that overly pampered lion. Let's show him who the real kings of New York are. Uh-oh. Someone order ranch dressing? 
Oh no, they're gonna have poop on Alex. Gross. You can't do your act with those Use the tech button to roll. Ah, oh, yes, there's this kid's game like fighting pigeons that poop on you. They also attack you too. I think they will actually do damage compared to actual enemies, so let you counter. Now, show them who's kid. Get on your pedestal and do the regal pose bit. Regal pose. Bit. Get on bit. your pedestal. Oh, shoot. Give me a second more. I just fell. But I can get up through here. We got all the like, coins in this area. Look at that. You're still a king. Don't let those fly. <laughs> no, no audio, just him posing. Looks like my work here is done. Now let's take the camera. Maybe you ought to swing by Glorious. You look like you need a little pick me up. Nobody cheers up a zebra like a hippo, right? I'll see you tonight. Take that gate. Maybe Melman can cheer me up. No matter how bad I think things are, they're always somehow worse for him. Well, that's kind of mean to say, Marty. Marty, what's wrong? Is it contagious? What's wrong? Well, I've just been feeling a little... Oh, things are going okay with me. Except, of course, for the germs. Oh, and then there's the microbes. And then there's the fact that I've been waiting for my medication for the last 38 minutes. Well, that's unfortunate. I think I might do a Let's Play on this game at some point in the near future. But for now, I'm specifically just going to be doing an episode of it on low standards. Let's just, I haven't really produced low standard episodes that much, but they usually wait for night time. I really need to get like a, a cloth or something to cover the, the main tea, uh, the main room's light area. Where's that arcade machine the kids always play? I, I love, love this game. game! I love when you lose and leave and you go, stupid game, and who it kicks it. Alright, this one's basically like 1942, you gotta defend, um... <clears throat> We gotta defend the main point area. This is basically similar to, um... There's like a bunch of these small little arcade games, uh... At, like the New York uh, sections of the game. But yeah, in this one you basically protect the main fort area from enemy tanks, so also having to make sure you don't get shot yourself. Oh, shields, Eddie. I probably should have gotten that help before I shot that one. Oh, I lose my shield power up at the start of the next match. I now have bounty shots, which of course does this. Strange that I had like less uh, bounty shots. <laughs> I think you get like uh, a set of coins like getting the high score of this game. What was the high score? Goals. Uh, five thousand. So I'll probably out of this one, but I gotta make sure I lose before I actually uh, before I actually finish playing this little mini game here. Nope. There's 12, 11 takes in total, well 12 originally. Oh jeez, they're all attacking the walls. I don't need the walls to cover compared to like, say, the uh, yourself. Oh 
my god. My air ability to move fast is ridiculous. Hey, here's the last one over there. Carry you. Bam, you got exploded. Nice. I think if you quit now, it doesn't count as a high score. You have to immediately die for it. You yeah, we'll just, just do the first level in here, because you know, I got work tomorrow. No. the bouncy shots those are gonna me a lot. Oh speaking of the hell, there they are. Oh wow that shield didn't last that long. You can't destroy yourself, that's also the problem. Whoa, you almost got me, sir. Yo, know, I guess the of the video is going to be, or at least a good portion of the video is going to be used specifically for this tape in the game. What the fuck? Aiming is where. Oh, you know, the walls do recover. Ouch. God. Yeah, they get a speed boost and I think I might be more effective. Okay, I can't attack my thing either. Come on. Ouch. Stupid game. All right, I think he still says it regardless of uh, if you win it or not. Well, I was close to all the balloons. Happy birthday, Marty. Oh, boy, your eye doesn't look right. Look, sister, are we going to race or just get in touch with our inner angst all day? On your mark, get set. Alright, gotta go race these ostriches. I don't think so. In fact, forget it. The race is canceled. Go! But that was canceled. Maybe very ladylike, but I can use my tumble attack by pressing the attack button. I can't stop! Whoa! Those spicy peppers sure get you moving. <laughs> I don't know why I've been placing it too much to learn all the music like cues. It is we that will be victorious. I was gonna take the shortcut. One more lap to go. I'm advancing on you. Chances of winning. Liar, look at the speed I'm going at. 
with all that juice, you could knock out some of those hay bales and find a shortcut. There's only one shortcut, Marty. You are being mm -hmm. hippopotamus. Cry mercy. There you go. Keep grabbing those pimples. What the fuck? That was unlucky. On your... Well, I don't have to go to the corners anymore now. I can't stop. I can't stop. Hey, you, 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 you honestly can't. Why is I always making a train noise every time I eat those things? What the fuck? You saw that? One more lap to go! I'm advancing on you! No, you're not. I don't see your face. What the fuck? Come on. With all that juice, you could knock out some of those hay bales and find a shortcut. Marty, you've said that twice already. You are beautiful, hippopotamus. Cry mercy. Not on my watch. See you later, fuckers. Take that. even close. Okay, maybe it was a little close, but the point is, you still beat those bird brain brains in. Awesome, bro. Why is it that... In both Looks the like movies and in the done. games, they seem to Guess define Gloria's butt. The oh, Marty. <laughs> I think, like, um, if you keep hitting them, uh, Gloria's, Gloria's like, why do you keep hitting, you don't need to waste your time hitting, just, uh, hitting those. Where's the balloon? There's, like, one more left. I think it's like right next to the penguins. I, I think there's a way to cheese it so you can grab it one before the penguins like get in the cutscene. Oh, there it is. Just need to wait for it to fly towards me so I can get it. Stand up. Two, three, four. Come on. I can make it like spawn closer to me. Soldier, double time. Oh shoot, god ah, damn it, forget it. That's classic. That balloon usually just never gets to you before classic. like the last cutscene. Oh. Whatever, let's get to the game. Not quick enough. Oop. You've cut. You've cut. I think Skipper's voice actor returns for nearly everything when it comes to Skipper relations. Those penguins are psychotic. Well, who said that? Was it you that said that? Your drink is mine now. Oh, that's Cosmo and Timmy's dad's voice actor. Fun technique, son. Now let's see you land that green. That green? Just <laughs> skipping skip, Skipper's dialogue. I'm skipping it. Do not give. Do not I'm give. Standing. Now go for only red air. Yep. 
Why are the stuffed animal decoys? They may come in handy. Ooh, a balloon, I'm gonna pop that. My dog could beat up those birds. Oh yeah? You mocking me now. Recover the hat. Steadfast, soldier. Steadfast. Okay, let's see here. Get your hat. Let's see if you can find me some sunglasses. Sunglasses. Now get me a bucket, soldier. Now give me a bucket. This that is a bucket. That was first class fishing. You've completed your train. Those penguins. <laughs> the way they move is ridiculous. Any of the penguins only have one when level. Off I always seem to think. I know this. Come on. That was enough balloons. Let the hilarity ensue right on schedule. Yeah, well, it only works for like two cutscenes, Mari. Hey Marty, I forgot to wish you happy birthday earlier. Sometimes I get wrapped up in my own problems. My basic hygienic needs are going unmet. Say what? I don't do medical speak. Uh, in this uh, last portion of the first level, you got I thought you had a helium voice, Marty. It only applies to the cutscenes. You can get like a combo for getting a lot of trash at once with a single attack. Uh, oh, gross! No, never mind. There's a coin that will just appear randomly at any point. Be gone, foul, foul! Be gone, foul, foul. There's a lot of birds pooping today. Did anyone feed these birds laxatives? Get away from me! You're swimming in the sea! At You're swimming in the sea! Cleaning crew! See, Marty? See, see, see! Yep, I'll never doubt you again, Melman. Don't call me on that, though. I'm more concerned with how the chaos affected my immune system. Okay. <laughs> I just wanted to get that cutscene entirely because we're almost done with the episode time and runtime, anyways. And I'll unlock the ability to, not ability, but the next episode was just basically Marty's escape from the zoo. Ah, uh, the Zoomineer shop. Let's see what we can buy. Uh, Capital, you come to visit us. Oh yeah, also the you monkey uh, character always returns. I forgot what his name was, but he always replaces his role as the monkey. Cheeky mini gob, lemur rave. Shuffleboard. Extra. So why can't I gain the coin man and make sure getting these coins a lot more easier? We need like 175 of that one. I love his little like wave. It's so good. Well that's it for this episode. I'll see you all in the next one. Bye.